And I guess what, what are some of the challenges you faced um, since you've launched in business? I mean, wow. the first, first couple of months, first couple of years, and how have those challenges evolved in the last, uh, last few years? Um, I think the, so th there may be three stages of the business I would, I would sort of break mm -hmm. in. The very beginning, the initial team, and then sort of where we are now in, in the growth, in the growth phase. Um, and in, the, in that early beginning phase, I think the most difficult thing was, you know, putting the idea in a way that I could crystallize it to someone um, and convince them to, to invest in, to invest in the idea, right? Raising that initial capital, finding the initial team. Um, six months by myself was 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 very lonely. Right? This was just you, nobody else. Um, it was pretty much me. I mean, I had um, a, a few people who were doing who who did favors for me, right? So, for example, I had a, you know I said it was important for me to build a demo, right? And so, we built a BlackBerry demo. Uh, a friend of mine in the U.S. got his team in Eastern Europe to build a, a demo for me, um, and you know you know couldn't really pay them much, right? But they did, but they were able to do that for me. Another friend helped work on all the branding. Um, and which has still stayed, and you know, and I couldn't really pay him much either. Um, and so there, there were those people who were around, and then the advisors who were, who were. I was constantly getting their opinion, opinion on. But it was pretty much me doing the, the research, going to go talk to people, figuring out the CBN stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and and until others like Jay started coming on board, right, uh, with it. So I think that period, I think finding people. Um, you know, and convincing, thinking of how you would raise the money and, and how you would invest was, was really challenging. Um, in the second phase of the initial team, um, you know, there's a, there's, then once people start coming in, it becomes very exciting. You know, you have a you know, small office somewhere, um, you know, and you actually you know, feel like it's like a proper business, you know, coming, coming together. Um, and I think for me in that phase, I think probably the toughest thing, and that, that phase probably stretched about a year, I, I would say, um, the toughest thing was losing one of our co-founders. Um, and that was both personally very, very, very difficult, and also for us as a business. Um, particularly, you know, it was right around when we're about to, to to raise some funds from our first institutional investor, right? I mean, and, and that could have derailed, you know, an institutional investor coming coming in. Um, but but thankfully, it didn't, and um, and and we've continued. Um, so, but then beyond that, then I think last year, I remember when we walked into last year, I said, you know. What we have to be concerned about in our business is that it's it's a business where you know you want a hockey stick growth, right? In terms of the revenues and, and sort of the take up of the business, um, but all, that also means internally that we are having going to have hyper growth, right? So we went from 42 employees to ending last year at about 100 employees to right now being at 150 employees. And by the end of the year, we'll be at over 200. So if you're having that level of hyper growth, the challenge is how do you maintain your culture? Um, how do you make sure that you're able to communicate across the organization? Um, and how do you make sure that people are focused on what they actually need to do and that they understand how their job, their day-to-day -day job fits into the larger picture of what the company is trying to achieve? Um, and that, that remains, remains a challenge, right? Um, and it's something that we continue to, to continue to work on. Thank you.